I care passionately, always have done, about fulfilling potential. I've worked very hard over the last 15 years, not just to fulfill my potential, but to enable other people to do so. And the ultimate expression of that for me was to make the first journey in history by the harder of the two classic routes, solo and without resupply to the North Geographic Pole. This is my gold medal. It took 15 years, three attempts, and nearly cost my life on more than one occasion. It seems to me that it's not actually very difficult to get yourself from the middle band of performance, where most of us lie, to the elite band. Most of it is about focus, prioritizing, hard work, and perseverance. People see their potential as being limited in some way, but those limits are imposed by themselves. It all starts and ends in your mind. Now, I'm not six foot eight tall. I don't have an Olympic physique. I don't have any God-given talents. But I did have one thing, and I had it in spades, and that was an absolute determination to make the most of what I could be. Oh, yes. You do not, not, not want to see that. Your average bear likes about a seal a week. And if you ever get into a situation where you come across one of these fellows, here's the top tip. Do anything you can to disabuse the bear of the fact that you're a seal. Because it will assume you're a seal. So singing Kylie Minogue songs, banging saucepans together, anything to help it think, you know, question its mind, what's going on? Seals, long, low, quiet, flat, dark. Uh, <laughs> what's going on here? Now, I'm the only Briton to have gone to the North and South Poles without resupply. And I think you can probably imagine that I have learned some lessons the hard way in doing that. And I want to share those lessons with people in the audience. And one of the ways to do it is to create an emotional state of mind that is more receptive to ideas. So what I do very often is take them into the, the journey and the thinking and the emotional state that I was in when I was making my historic solo journey. And in so doing, people are more open to receiving new ideas and in seeing how it worked for me, are more likely to buy into the idea and take it away with them and give it a try. Oh, it was phenomenal, I think, in terms of the, the lessons to be learned about the preparation for challenges and the right mental attitude, but also the team that you had to have behind you. It's absolutely fascinating. We were just talking about how interesting it was and the things that he thinks about that we would never, ever consider. The uh, dedication and focus that he displayed uh, was inspiration. Oh, Penhado is um, uh, just an inspiration, isn't it? If I think if I can convince uh, the team that I work with to even have, say, a tenth of the, the focus that he had to have in order to achieve what he achieved, uh, I'm sure we can do incredible things uh, as a team. Oh, it's excellent. I thought you could relate it to a business all the way through the innovation, the enterprise, the forward thinking, the vision, which had to be there initially, and the way that you put all that into action. That's the trick. They have to feel that they want to use it, that it's going to work for them and improve, ultimately, their performance, whether it's as an individual or as a team.